Hi, this is Bill Gustaf with Homeschool Iowa. It is Wednesday, March 9th. I apologize that my weekly updates haven't been quite so weekly the last couple of weeks due to business meetings and travel and other things that have popped up. But uh, we're giving you an update now with some fresh information and uh, some, some important information. So I'm going to start with a screen share here, and I'm going to show you uh, the legislature's website because we have an update for you on the Iowa Tuition and Textbook Tax Credit. And so you'll see here the legislature's website and uh, we're giving you hot off the press information because if you go to the Iowa Law and Rules here, you're going to see on the left, there's the Iowa Administrative Rules. Fourth one down on that page is going to be Iowa Administrative Bulletin. This is where they publish intended actions and proposed rulemaking. And just today out came the bulletin and uh, I'm going to click on the documents here, the rulemaking documents. And as I scroll down there, I'm going to find the Department of Revenue. Uh, tuition and textbook credit expenses incurred for dependents. <clears throat> and that's uh, on the PDF there. Uh, you'll, you'll pull it up and you'll see the exact document that's been proposed and that should be adopted uh, at the next meeting early in April with an effective date of April 13th. Remember, however, that this was uh, for a law that's effective retroactively through 2021. So although we can't give uh, legal advice or tax advice, I will just tell you that personally, if, if I were in a position to file my income taxes and I wanted to take the tuition and textbook tax credit, I'd be comfortable relying on this document because it should be adopted pretty much in this form with maybe some slight variations or changes. It was a good cooperative relationship with the Department of Revenue that we uh, were able to work through some, some sticky issues there and get that resolved in a way that, that's favorable for homeschooling and consistent with legislative intent. So, so uh, please feel free to proceed accordingly. Now I'm going to show you what may be even a more important page, and that's the Homeschool Iowa, web, Homeschool Iowa uh, website. And uh, the important thing here is that we have a capital day coming up uh, in just six days from now, uh, on Tuesday, March 15th. And it's important that we have as many homeschool families. Uh, we love fathers and mothers and their kids there uh, from as many districts as possible. We routinely have 500 or more people at our, at our homeschool day, and you all are rock stars at the Capitol. Uh, the Capitol security guards love to have homeschool families up there because we are generally well behaved and polite and respectful. And uh, we're well regarded by pretty much everybody I've ever encountered at the Capitol. So please feel free to join us at the Capitol. We encourage you to do so. If you wanna see why others do it, I encourage you to go to our blog up here in the upper right corner and you'll see uh, an article right at the top as to why I'm going. It talks about other people's reasons for going to the Capitol. I endorse all the reasons given there. And to register, you go to events and uh, Capitol Day and this is where you sign up for it. So even if you've been there before, this is not an event where it's a been there, done that sort of thing. So we really encourage you to sign up uh, and we'll, uh, you can use our website for that. You can also look at our website later. We'll, we'll post a link to the, uh, the administrative rules as well. So you'll find those there and uh, we try to make it user friendly, but please join us there. This blogs, this, uh, this video blog's a little bit longer than normal, uh, but I wanted to convey these two important things to you and uh, look forward to seeing you at the Capitol next week. One of my favorite days at the Capitol all year long. Uh, thank you for all you do for homeschooling. Please, please continue to pray for us as we work for you at the Capitol. Thank you.